I support version 15.5 release notes. Managing support representatives. You can now schedule a support representative's availability for routing via settings on the routing availability tab in the support representative profile screen. The available for routing, available for load balance routing, and available for round robin routing fields have moved from the details tab to this tab. To schedule routing availability for a support representative, select on in the schedule availability field and then use the calendar to set the dates and times at which the support representative can be assigned incidents and problems and changes if enabled. An include routing availability on desktop profile menu field has been added to the routing availability tab. If off is selected, the availability option will be removed from the desktop profile menu. A routing availability log tab was added to the support representative profile screen for viewing specifics about routing availability changes. Use the history fields in the config support rep view designer data source to create views of routing availability changes for support representatives. In the rep manager desktop component, if you are designated as an administrator in your support representative profile, you can now click on the name of a support representative to access their profile. If you are not designated as an administrator, only the routing availability tab in that screen will appear. The email address is now a link for starting an email, and the phone number is now a link for starting a call to the support representative. A limit route to primary members option has been added to the rep group screen to restrict those considered for a route to only those group members who are available and have the group set as their primary group. Failure type and IP address fields were added to the config failed login attempts data source. Failure types will be invalid username or sessions limit exceeded. An IP address field was added to the config customer lockout log and config rep lockout log data sources in the view designer for tracking the IP address of devices used to submit failed logins. An IP address column was added to the failed login log tab in the rep security screen as well. Desktop features. You can now configure the colors for the fonts and elements in the desktop chat dialogues between support representatives and between support representatives and customers. In the chat themes configuration screen, click on a drop down to display a color picker for the applicable elements. The selected color will appear for the affected elements in the example on the right. You can select the No Color icon to reset a field to iSupport's default color and use the Restore Defaults button at the bottom of the screen to set all fields back to iSupport's default colors. You can now enable browser notifications for chat requests. When an incoming chat is received, a browser-based dialog will appear. Click it to open the chat on the iSupport desktop. This functionality is available when iSupport is accessed via Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, Apple Safari, and Google Chrome when the website is HTTPS. It is not available on Internet Explorer or via a mobile browser. Different browsers have slightly different options for how the notifications are presented and whether or not the notifications time out but iSupport will attempt to only send one pop-up and it will time out after 10 seconds. These notifications must be enabled in browser settings for each type of browser. The first time you enable the option, allow notifications from the site. With the feature enabled and notifications allowed, the browser will display a notification each time a new chat arrives. A bell will appear on the iSupport desktop chat tab. If you don't allow the notifications, a bell icon will appear empty on the chat tab on the desktop. You can click on the empty bell icon to re-enable notifications. You can now enable a countdown for customer chat requests. It will display the amount of time you have before the chat times out. Enable the countdown via the Display Countdown to Rep field in the My Support Portal Options screen. 
The countdown will be the number of seconds in the timeout length field up to a maximum of 60 seconds. If multiple groups are available for chat for the customer's portal, the customer does not select a group, and the support representative who accepts the chat is available in multiple groups, a list of those groups will appear for selection. If the customer selected a support representative group or a support representative is only available in one group, the group name will appear in the chat dialog. If a person sends more than one chat message before another person responds, those messages are no longer appended to the previous message chat bubble. All messages now appear in separate chat bubbles. A rep name display type field has been added to the external chat tab in the My Support Portal settings screen and the chat tab in the My Support Options screens. You can select whether to display support representatives only by first name or by full name. You can now use the single sign-on integration screen to enable a third-party application such as Shibboleth or Atka to pass user credentials so that a user can sign in to My Support or the iSupport desktop with the same credentials that they use to log into another application. Note that iSupport's login method, which is forms-based, must be enabled for the applicable iSupport interface and not Microsoft Windows-based authentication. Obtain the metadata file from the identity provider or claims provider and use it in the load settings from metadata file field. When loaded, it will populate the issuer, single sign-on URL, and X509 certificate fields. The iSupport login dialog will include a button labeled with the contents of the login button text field in the single sign-on integration screen. Further dialogs will appear as required by the identity provider. Allow customer poll and allow rep poll options have been added to the discussion post option section in the new speed component configuration dialog. Clear a checkbox to prevent poll type posts in the discussion feed. View features. The initial values recorded for the status label, assignee, category, and priority fields are now tracked with timeline events when work items are created from any source. A delete option was added to correspondence view actions. You can now set a follow-up date for incidents and customer profile records via the Edit Follow-up option on the Actions menu for Customer and Incident Views. My Support Features You can now display the configured custom number label and number instead of iSupport's 10-digit alphanumeric number in the dialog that appears when a customer submits a work item via a My Support portal. For example, if the custom number label is case number, case number would appear in the Submit Successful dialog after incident submission. Use the Display Custom Number Upon Incident Submission field in the My Support Work Item Submit Options screen to enable this feature. A search bar has been added to the dialog that appears when selecting a category during incident submission on My Support. The profile icon now appears with a login option when a My Support portal loads, and tooltips have been added for it and the Notification Center icon. Layout features. A last login date field has been added to the customer data source and layout for the customer profile screen. You can now configure and display field labels for the customer fields in incident and change layouts. Select the configure icon next to a field to display the configure customer field dialog. You can enable display and change the label and width if applicable. Rule features. You can now set the order of precedence for incident, change, opportunity, and purchase rule groups via the Order of Precedence button in the Rule Groups list screen. Select the order via drag and drop. Previously, a rule group linked with a template always took precedence over any rule groups associated with other items, and a customer-associated rule group always took precedence over one linked with a company. The winner if both customer and category rule groups are being used fields in the Incident Management and Change Management Basics screens 
were removed because the new order of precedence setting made those fields obsolete. The order will reflect the values in these settings after an upgrade. For all features that support both custom fields and rules, you can now use time-based important dates rules based on date or date time custom fields. Time-based important dates rules are evaluated at the date and time specified, and the actions will only be executed if the conditions are met when the time-based rule agent runs. Note that incident time-based follow-up date, knowledge time-based review date, and survey time-based sent date rules are now labeled time-based important dates rules. If the short description field is enabled in Incident Feature Basics, it will be included in the Conditions drop-down for Incident Rules. You can now create a rule from the Rule Group screen via the Create button on the On Save and Time Base tabs. The rule will be automatically added to the current rule group. Notification Features A source field has been added to the Include Fields list in the Correspondence and Custom Notification screens. You can now configure iSupport notifications to be sent via SMS or short message services, and you can optionally configure integration with Twilio for SMS messaging. A Notify via SMS option has been added to the Actions dropdown in Rule screens, and an SMS text field has been added to the Custom Notifications screen for use with this rule action. When a rule using the Notify SMS action is met, the contents of the SMS text field in the custom notification will be used. If that field is blank or if it is a default notification, the text in the subject field will be used. If sending to a support representative, the message will be sent to the following in their support representative record. If Twilio integration is configured, the number in the mobile field. If Twilio is not configured, the address in the alt email field. If that is unavailable, the address in the email field. If sending to a customer, the message will be sent to the following in their customer profile record. If Twilio integration is configured, the number in the mobile field. If it is not configured, the SMS email from my support, email to text, or if that is unavailable, the address in the email field. The cellular field has been relabeled to mobile in the support representative and customer profile screens in conjunction with this feature. To integrate with Twilio, after signing up at Twilio.com, use the Twilio Integrations configuration screen to set up a number from which iSupport SMS notifications can be sent. Rules can change the Twilio integration or phone number to which an iSupport SMS notification is sent that is used for a work item. Support representatives can now create a contact list that will display by default when type ahead is used in the address fields in the correspondence and correspondence template screens. Type ahead in the correspondence screen will automatically return matches from the list. If no matches occur, all customers and support representatives will be searched. There are several ways to add customers to the list. You can add both support representatives and customers via the Personal Contacts tab in Desktop Preferences. You can add a customer to the list via the Add to Contacts option on the toolbar in the Customer Profile screen. You can add multiple customers to the list via the Add to Personal Contacts Customer View action. Miscellaneous Features you can now include a question with two response choice image links in a change notification. This feature works like the single selection feedback feature for incidents. Note that this feature is intended for HTML type mail delivery. When a customer receives the email and clicks one of the responses, configured submission text will appear on a page on the My Support portal. The feedback question and response will be included in the feedback field on the change. To enable this feature and configure the question, response choice text, optional images, and submission text, first complete the Enable Change Feedback fields on the Basics tab in the Change Management Basics screen. The feedback choice text will appear as hover text for the image in the notification, and if selected will be used as the response in the feedback field on the change. Configure a rule to trigger a notification with customer as the recipient. 
Select Yes in the Include Feedback field to include the configured question and responses at the bottom of the notification sent by the role. To display the customer's feedback in the change, add the layout field to the change layout via the layout screen. You can create views of customer feedback via the feedback question and feedback response fields in the change data source in the view designer. A work item ID reference has been added to the work history dialog window name to assist in multitasking on multiple work history entries. You can now cancel a scheduled iSupport update via the Cancel Scheduled Install option in the iSupport Update screen. When the Inherit Custom Field Values setting is enabled in the Incident and Change Feature Basics screens, order is now retained for custom fields that are inherited from an upper-level incident and associated with a different category. That's it for an overview of the features in iSupport version 15.5. If you have questions, be sure to consult the online help. Our support team is available for a more in-depth walkthrough. Contact them by email at support at isupport.com and by phone at 360-397-1099, 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. PST, Monday through Friday, and 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. PST, Saturday and Sunday, for critical system failures such as installation errors, inability to log in, or inability to create work items. You can also go to mysupport.isupport.com, iSupport Software's technical support website, to chat with support representatives, submit and view incidents, search the knowledge base, view facts, submit ideas, and participate in the user discussion forum.